Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. And another heavyweight news mashup video today, starting with Luis Ortiz, who is set to return to the ring in November, and that's according to his head trainer, Herman Caicedo. So he's been training with Luis Ortiz for several years now, and Caicedo spoke of Ortiz's ring return, this is on the Boxing Voice, didn't specify an opponent that obviously is still a TBC, he didn't speculate or anything like that. But he did say at some point they would still like to fight Andy Ruiz Jr. But he says Ruiz Jr. is going to get in a tune-up fight of sorts before he is willing to face Ortiz. Whether that fight happens or not, hard to say. But Ortiz returning to the ring in November. And of Ortiz and how he's been looking and training, uh, Caicedo said that you know he's been in the gym. He stayed in there. He's having meal plans, vitamin supplements, keeping himself healthy. And he believes Ortiz is going to be around for a while yet to come, unless he loses his love for the sport. He says that you know in the foreseeable future, it's likely he'll have uh, two fights a year. Uh, but he would like to have three fights a year if he could. But he stayed in the gym and and that Al Heyman will ensure that he's going to remain in the mix. And he was also asked, would Ortiz be willing to face Michael Hunter? His response was, well, if the financial side sort of adds up, then sure. But he did question, and he was sort of put, asked the question, was Michael Hunter a top heavyweight? And he didn't believe that he was at this point, but he was probably close, but he probably hadn't done enough to prove that he was a, a, a top heavyweight. Very interesting uh, interview on the Boxing Voice, and a couple of other bits of uh, news here. First, um, Cassius Cheney, then I'll get on to a fight announcement from Herman Caicedo involving one of his heavyweights facing Damani Rock. But he spoke about Cassius Cheney, who joined him recently. He's been uh, living in his compound in recent months and getting into great shape. So he was very optimistic that Cassius Cheney, an unbeaten American heavyweight, who you may recall had a really spectacular knockout about a year ago, knocked someone out of the ring. He was uh, confident that Cheney is going to look good in his next fight, whenever that may be. But moving on to Carlos Negron, who was also trained by Herman Caicedo, he announced that he will be fighting Damani Rock, and this is on November 7. And I think for a lot of fans who've been following Rock's career, because he's a, a really talented heavyweight, but he's a guy seemingly lacking a little bit of discipline, and he really hasn't sort of been pitched in at any real level at this point. But it's clear to see when you watch Damani Rock, he's got some great skills, good power. Overall, he looks really good, but the dedication is a question. So this fight with the uh, Caicedo-trained Carlos Negron, a former Olympian who just recently knocked out um, Robert Alfonso, well, should I say earlier this year, so about six months ago now, this is a true test for Damani Rock. So with Carlos Negron working with uh, Herman Caicedo, and from what Caicedo was saying, he is really putting in the effort in the gym. He's better than he has been previously, and fans have already had a bit of a, a show of that through his stopping um, Robert Alfonso. So that's good signs for Carlos Negron and hearing how well he's training and looking uh, in camp. Uh, Caicedo has these guys living with him in a compound sort of situation. Says they're, they're like family, they become part of the woodwork and you know everyone gets uh, close bonds and uh, obviously getting some sparring as well from Cassius Cheney so this sounds like a good setup for Carlos Negron and he's going to be in tip-top shape against a guy in Darmani Rock who is considered one of the most talented young heavyweight prospects under 25 although he seems to have been around forever in a day Darmani Rock hasn't really sort of fought at any real level at this point. So this fight is an obvious step up and yeah, I'm quite excited to see that one because it's a good test in Carlos Negron to sort of see where he's really at. Um, one of the knocks on Rock is he obviously comes in and he's out of shape. So hopefully he does put in the effort um, ahead of this fight, comes in better shape because if Negron really does have something about him now and is going to be harder to beat, remember this is a guy who was stopped by Dominic Brazil a couple of years ago, but looked decent in that fight until the stoppage, he could give uh, Damani Rock a, f a few problems and pose a few tests for him to try to pass. I really like the fight. Another American heavyweight, Charles Martin, he's currently in a training camp environment working with Manny Robles and actually a clip that he's posted to a social media 
They like the idea of a potential tune-up fight with Mikael Wallach, who's just fought Joe Joyce. This is what he posted to Instagram. Money. You're gonna get some bullets? Right, we, money, money. We wanna know if Charles is having a warm-up fight, do we want the same guy that Joe Joyce fought? Yes. Do we want Wallach? We want Wallach. <laughs> what a, what a load of Wallach. What? We, we want, want a load of Wallach. Wallach, 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 Wallach. Wait, oh, 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 oh. Hey, so, so it's day six back in the gym. How are you feeling? I feel good. You know, I did a good 10 rounds. Um, yeah, but I did six rounds with no water. And continuing the theme with American heavyweights, Jermaine Franklin, his promoter Dimitri Salita of Salita Promotions, has posted a hype video which features Cornelius Bundridge talking about Jermaine Franklin. And in the video, which is on uh, Jermaine Franklin's uh, page, also Salita Promotions, etc., uh, Bundridge says that Jermaine Franklin will be a champion in the heavyweight division by 2021 or early 2022. Which, given the logjam with different fights sort of being pushed back because of the pandemic, it would seem to be pretty unrealistic. But also, I'll just toss this in here, and I double-checked, Franklin not currently ranked by any of the four main sanctioning bodies. So how he would uh, get to be from his current position, where he's sort of facing you know guys between top 50 and top 100, to getting in position to fight for a title in the next year to 18 months, it would seem pretty unlikely especially given on recent form. If anything, he might have a couple of losses by 2022. And rounding out this heavyweight news mashup video, just uh, with a little clip from Christopher Lovejoy, who looks set to be facing Trevor Bryan for Bryan's WBA interim title. So Lovejoy posted this to his social media regarding Don King putting some money in his bank account. It's official. Uh, you know, deposit clear. I'm going to see y'all soon, man. Like bud. So seemingly this fight is going to happen with Brian. Lovejoy not ranked yet, but has stated publicly he will be in the next update, which is in the next couple of days. So we'll see what happens with this. Will this fight properly properly be announced and will it actually come off? You know, those couple of things there, you know, I'll just uh, bide my time to see if it actually happens. But what do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.